Hey everybody, welcome to County Corvette. My name is James Turner and I run the Resto Mod department here at County Corvette. We've got a ton of really great projects going on right now that we wanted to show you. But first, I'm sure some of you are asking, what is a Resto Mod? So we'll kind of dig into that a little bit. Basically, it is taking an original classic or muscle car, restoring the body and interior, and putting it on top of, of a modern chassis, modern drive line, new engine and transmission, power steering, power brakes, heat and air, all the modern day conveniences that make a modern car a lot more fun and reliable to drive, but with the cool classic looks of a, of a muscle car. Back behind me, you'll see a couple cars that we're doing. Just wanted to walk you through and, and give you an update on some of the cars that we're building here at the shop. Right now, we have a lot of Corvettes, but in the back, we also do a lot of other GM muscle cars. We do a lot of Mustang work. We got a 67 Eleanor Mustang. We're doing a really cool Resto Mod build that you'll see sometime in the future. We do a lot of Camaros and GTOs. A lot of cool projects going on. All right, so this is the perfect car to start out with. This is a 1958 Corvette Resto Mod that we're building for a customer down in Maryland. This car started as a great donor car. Body was in great condition. We actually just restored it, sanded all the fiberglass down, repainted it in this custom pearlescent white with a silver cove, color matched the, uh, the engine compartment, and we're doing a custom red interior. The body, after it's fully restored and painted, is then installed onto a chassis. This chassis, for instance, is from Street Shop Chassis down in Athens, Alabama, and it's a modern frame modern LS3 crate engine, 4L80 automatic transmission, all modern suspension, power steering, power brakes. A great update that all of these cars have here at County Corvette is a Hydrotech Hydroboost braking system. And what that does is it takes the hydraulic power steering system, takes the pressure from there and converts it to hydraulic brake pressure, which gives you the braking feel and pedal feel of a modern car in the classic resto mod which is worth its weight in gold when you have 500 horsepower powering the car down the street. Right now, this car is in the assembly process, so we're doing all the wiring for the aftermarket gauges, ready to install the vintage air air conditioning system to give it modern day heat and air. We upgrade the wiper system in this car for a modern wiper system and get rid of the old school motor. Update the fuel system with a new stainless tank and all new lines. Update the steering column as well from one from Flaming River. The interior from here will be then fully dynamated and then recarpeted and reupholstered all the way out. Another great addition that we do on these cars is power windows. All of these cars have a set of new relic power windows, which add to the convenience of the car as well. Over here, this is a 1969 Corvette Resto Mod that we're building for a customer down in Delaware. This body is a little bit more uh, aggressive and, uh, and custom than you'll see us do typically, but it came out great. Our guys in the body shop really, really knocked it out of the park. The big thing that strikes you right as you see it is the color. It's a House of Colors Candy Brandywine. It's actually seven coats of translucent red pearl put on top of the, actually the offset color, the gray, which you'll see in the engine compartment. This car also has a cammed LS3, Tremec six-speed transmission, long tube headers, and aftermarket side pipes. You'll see the front is really, really modified. We redid the front bumper here to be flush mount and painted it the offset color. Also did a lot of custom front grill work. Another cool fact about this car is we actually did some custom hard top work and actually extended it back here just for a different, different look to the, uh, to the appearance of the exterior of the car. Around the back, you'll notice we also added uh, flush mounted rear bumpers and some, uh, some lower valance work. Then over here, there's a 1959 Corvette that we're restoring for a customer down in Arkansas. Car's almost done. It's gonna be shipped out next week to the customer and uh, really happy with the way it came out. The color combination is an awesome take on the original color of the car, which is a silver blue with silver coves. Powering it is, again, the cool LS3 crate engine, cammed version, 495 horsepower, with a 4L70E automatic transmission. And over here, I'll show you, we also do, in all these cars, upgraded Dakota digital gauges. With the modern drive line, you have to update all of the gauges in the car for the modern sensors. You have a lot of different options from Dakota Digital, which is great. You can go anything with uh, like a factory style look to a very modern, all digital gauges. These are kind of a blend. It's got a really nice analog look, but all digital and some updated readouts. Over here is a 1969 Corvette Resto Mod we're building for a customer down in Florida. 
This car is a little bit more wild, a little bit more horsepower. Sits on a C7 Z06 suspension and brake combination. Gives you a 335 series tire out back. This car is ready to go up for its interior right now. Everything else is done. Everything red will be getting transitioned over to a saddle brown. Car is also going to have a custom center console. We're going to add custom gauges, flat screen navigation screen that will give you also back up and front cameras. Another awesome update we're doing on these 69 cars is we're able to take the C7 seats, make all the functions work, and get them to fit in these cars with a little bit of work. Over here is a 1960 Corvette that we completed a couple years ago for a customer. Really came out nice. Just back up, he wanted some updates to the stereo system, also fresh fluids, and, and basically a good check over after he's put about 1,500 miles on the car. Here's a 1960 Corvette we're doing for a local customer. Again, you'll notice the color right away. It's that House of Colors Candy Brandywine. In a lot of these cars, you'll see we do a color matched engine compartment, which we love to do. Engine wise, you can do the engine covers in matching colors. You can do engine modifications to have a lot more polished aluminum, billet, whatever you want to do for, for whatever look you're going for is really a great finishing touch. We also try and hide all the vintage air lines, wiper systems all hidden under the dash and really, really make it look a lot cleaner and cooler. Over here is a 1969 Corvette Restima we're doing for a customer in St. Louis. Really cool combination. Again, this generation car allows us to run a C7 Z06 suspension and brake component on it, which gives us a lot bigger wheel and brake combination. You can't beat having a 335 series tire on the back of one of these cars. Big braking, just the look of the modern wheel. Right now we're installing some modern LED headlights. You kind of see what the engine looks like without all the covering. Just got done mocking up the air intake system, finishing some wiring, bleeding the brake system. You'll see in here some of the interior modifications we do on all these cars. When you're doing one of these resto mod builds, a lot of floor modifications have to be done. When we do the floor modifications, we actually strip the floor back down to its bare fiberglass. When you do that, obviously we've got to recode it. That gives us the ability to do it in a lizard skin, which is a material that we use, which is a sound and heat deadener. So it kills two birds with one stone and also gives you a really nice finish on the underside of these cars. On the inside, we kind of doubled down on the heat and sound insulation by adding a whole bunch of Dynamat and some thermal barriers to help make it a lot quieter and cooler inside. If you think this is the same color, it is. Uh, this customer actually picked this color out after seeing this car fresh out of the booth. This car was built originally a couple years ago, recently purchased by this customer, and he wanted kind of updated a little bit. It was a just a straight silver with red interior. He wanted to update it a bit to a more charcoal stinger hood. We added the aftermarket side pipes and are updating the interior on the car as well. All right, thanks so much for stopping over and checking out some of the current Resto Mod builds we have going on here. A lot of other fun projects in the back. Make sure you stop back and check out what we have going on. If there's anything we can help you out with, please give us a call or shoot me an email.